Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I hope you guys are having a good day. But y'all, come on in. Come on in. So, in case you haven't heard, Miss Pat, she is the star of her TV show, The Miss Pat Show. Um, she talks about being fired from the Big Tigger Morning Show, V103, on The Breakfast Club. Um, she cites jealousy as being the motive. And she had some words for the radio show host, Big Tigger. So apparently he fired her from the show just a few months before she was planning to quit. Now, I was always taught, you know, move in silence, right up your two week notice and leave it at that. But her issue is that she was going around talking about quitting, but never issued a written statement. Um, so Miss Pat did not hold back on the breakfast club. She called Big Tigger a hater. She expressed her shock um, of being let go without warning. And according to her, she was a sauce behind the Big Ticket Show's success. Um, she said when she got there, the show was number 15. But before she got there, the show was number 15. When she got there, she caused it to go to number two. So she believes that Ticket's ego and jealousy um, is the reason she was fired abruptly. Okay, she also mentioned that Big Tigger was jealous because she had a G-Wagon. So I am going to play y'all what she said, and then I'll be back with some final um, thoughts. Early in the morning. Mm -hmm. I don't sell drugs anymore, but the first person I call is my husband because I know my dad's going to get busy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'm on the other side of the world, and I, I just wake him up every morning at 6 o'clock his time. Damn. And we'll talk for an hour or two, and then I know I talk to my husband. Yeah. You, used to, you was waking up to do radio, but what happened? They quiet me. <laughs> they quiet you. Fired me before I could quit. Damn. Oh, <laughs> damn. damn. <laughs> I knew that was coming from this way. <laughs> yeah, you know, I told I told them, I said, I'm going to leave in August. And before August could get there, I was blown away. Mm. I didn't, never thought I was going to get fired from that job. I so you had knew, no idea? No, we, me and Shamir didn't have no idea. No idea at all. I just knew they was going to renew her contract and I was going to go on by my business because I was never there mm -hmm. and I could never be there. But that's what happened when you work with a hater. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to go and say it. I don't even care because that can't about whoop my ass. Who's the <laughs> hater? You know who the hater is, Tigger. Tigger's the biggest damn hater. I mean, just, I mean, you had a good show mm -hmm. and you messed it up because of your ego. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because I was coming there and say, I know it because I didn't care. I said, look, I don't need a job. I work here. Then my husband check. I ain't never spent the check up here. I'm working for my husband a check. I ain't never seen. I ain't never spent the V one hundred three check. This this is my husband check. And it is you know when you work with somebody who it's just jealousy. To me, it was jealousy. Mm -hmm. Really, I'm just gonna go and put it out there. And if you call me, we can fight in the street. <laughs> it, was, it, it was it was it was jealousy. <laughs> I bought a G wagon. Your truck called more than both of my cars. I said, "We'll buy you another car so we can be equal." Damn it! Damn, Miss <laughs> Pat. Talk your shit. I like that. Yeah, you know, you then you I get and I, another thing was is that we, we was all equal, mm -hmm. so you couldn't talk down to nobody, and you weren't gonna talk down to me no way, cause I would have whooped you like, hey, back in the day when I went back on Section A, I used to always want to get fired so my rent can go back down to free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> crap. But I, I was bl I was really when they walked me in now. And they said, we're not renewing your contract. Because I said I was leaving in August. I was so shocked. I said, y'all going to fire me? Wow. Do you know these people get up to listen to me? Don't nobody listen to this crap. Miss Pat got a hit podcast, hit yeah. TV show. Hit TV show. Yeah. And you going to fire the person who had the most going on, which was me and Shamil? You, you going to lead a DJ? <laughs> <laughs> you want the DJ just to spin workers? Did Tigger at least reach out to you and say thank you for it? I blocked that nigga. Damn. He uh, sure did. Uh, happy, I said, don't you, I'm not Shamil. You don't play with me. I mean, you know, Shamil was nice. I think she still talked to him or whatever. Mm -hmm. She's nice because I still talk to her all the time. But I'm not, I'm, no, you don't, you get one time to play with me. I'm 52 years old. I don't have time to play these games with you. You're low down, you're dirty, and anybody who go over there and work for him, and the show ain't doing, the show was doing well when I got there with number 15. When I left, we were two and three. Mm. Mm. You gonna fire us? Nigga, you should have got fired a long time ago. But keep your little show, because I ain't never needed it anyway. Mm. My, my my team was like, why are you going over there and work for that old dead-ass station? I said, I want to work for V103. I'm from Atlanta. I want to work for V103. Don't no, make me wake up and take unnecessary baths. <laughs> 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 you know, 
Somebody get up and take a bath every morning. Every morning. Every morning. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Take well, no damn bath. I ain't gonna lie, Pat. I knew it wasn't gonna work. Uh, Why? When you came and did the. Uh, uh, the the oh. week here, uh, Miss Pat yeah, came. Miss Pat mm -hmm. came and did a week here, uh -huh. and that's competition. And she was only supposed to come here for one day. It ain't yeah. competition. No, it like, was we, competition. <laughs> you was in my city. You, cause I listen to I listen to y'all every morning mm. now. It was you got me fired. Well, y'all right got me fired. That's right, <laughs> Y'all got 96 me fired. out there. Oh my God! When I got back, on hell broke loose. Oh my God! You was only you did the what is that report y'all do? The rumor report. The rumor you report. did the rumor report. I said, what the hell is the rumor report? Mm -hmm. I ain't did no, no rumor report. <laughs> they pull on the tape. I said, that's the rumor report? <laughs> I thought I was just up there talking. I said, they just told me to set in on this. <laughs> no, that was the rumor report. But they got to understand you a star right. outside of radio. But she was promoting her show at the time. I was promoting my show. The show just came back. I yeah. was promoting my show. And I'm all, and, and you know, he would say, uh, well, the, the, the show, I said, this show says your name. It does not say my name. Mm -hmm. So I worry about keeping the Miss Pat show on. That's why I make my money at. I don't mm -hmm. make no money here. I mean, I made money that, but it was for my husband. That was I did that because I like doing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you gonna tell me not to go on one of the biggest shows to promote my show? To promote my, I, I, I told him this, I said, it really didn't hurt you because people would have liked me and probably would have came over there to listen to us in the morning. Mm -hmm. You stupid mm -hmm. fool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's not like you wasn't shouting them out. It's not like we said, hey, don't shout out your radio show, Miss Pat. Yeah, but <laughs> it was it was a jealousy. You at the competition. I, ain't with, I don't compete. I'm fat. I came <laughs> over here to tell people to watch the Miss Pat show. I don't compete. I eat. Tell them, Miss Pat. Oh, my God. Hit me, uh, boy. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you and them rappers want to whoop your ass. Well, I'm a comedian going to have to get him. <laughs> Just I wish you weren't pregnant so we could jump I on that. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't no. want to do your own show, though, Miss Pat? I would want to. So here is my take. It seems like um, there may have been some professional jealousy due to Miss Pat uh, rising stardom. She's a comedian. She has her own TV show, The Miss Pat Show. I believe it's on BET. So that could have threatened Big Ticket's ego. But she also mentioned that she was never there in the first place. And sweetheart, uh, where I come from, <laughs> nine times out of ten, if you're not showing up to work, you're pretty much useless. Okay? And you should not be surprised when you end up being fired. Uh, you not showing up to work could very well contribute to her getting fired. Not to mention she did go around bragging that she didn't need the job. It's her husband's check. They need her, which is true. They did need her because she did contribute to the show's success. Um, and then she went on her competitor's radio station, which was the Breakfast Club, which could be a conflict of interest. But... I do believe that she got fired because she was about to quit. Now, why Shamia took a stray <laughs> and she ended up fired, honey, I don't know. And Big Tigger has been through a lot of co-hosts. And I think that when he sees a co-host rising to start on getting bigger than him, then he's threatened by that and they end up getting fired. That's the only way I can explain it. Shamia is now on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, all of a sudden, she was fired from V103. So it does sound like there is some jealousy at play with Big Tigger. Tigger has always been a one-man show. Even when he started Rap City, The Basement, it was him for a long time. Okay, then he went on to add Big Les. After that, I think he did BET Uncut. Again, it was just him. Um, so he would like to, I think he would like to remain by himself, but one personality listening to the radio can get very boring. So it is good to add different personalities. Um, the ratings did skyrocket when um, Miss Pat and Shamia was added to the show. Again, different personalities, different perspectives on things. Um, but once they started showing fame, oh, he didn't like that. He got rid of them. Hence why... Shamia <laughs> and Miss Pat got fired the same damn time. So y'all, that is my take on it. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up and hit the bell so you will know when I upload the next video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.